Do you have any plans of moving to Sunnyvale, California? Do you have any idea of how much it costs to live here? If not, you're about to find out. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cesar Yanis, and I'm your real estate authority here in Silicon Valley. And you probably know, or if you don't know, I actually grew up and was raised here in Sunnyvale, California. And throughout the years, I've seen the city change immensely. With big tech companies in Sunnyvale and the surrounding cities, I've seen a ton of influx moving into the Bay Area and Silicon Valley, Sunnyvale. And this is for numerous reasons like job opportunities, job transfers, relocations, etc. So if you're thinking about moving to Sunnyvale or you've just moved here or you've been here for a few months, I hope that I can be a resource for you and help you get an idea of how much it actually costs to live in Sunnyvale. All right, so we're gonna determine some of the recurring expenses that you will have in Sunnyvale, like housing, renting, transportation, utilities, and then other things like groceries and miscellaneous expenses, I wanna leave up to you to determine as these are more dependent on the size of your family, whether you're single, married, have children, etc. So let's begin with the first one. Let's take a look at housing. So when it comes to housing, I'm gonna share with you two options. Option number one is if you're thinking about buying a house in Sunnyvale. And the second option is if you're thinking about renting a house or apartment or condo, studio, etc. in Sunnyvale. Now, let's begin with the first one. If you're thinking about buying a house in Sunnyvale, first of all, you know who to call. Cesar Yanis, 408-480-6431. Happy to assist with any of your real estate needs, relocation, etc. I'm happy to help. But if you're thinking about buying in Sunnyvale, here are the median numbers you should know. The median house price in Sunnyvale, California for single family homes is 1.9 million as of right now. If we compare that to California, the median, the median house price in California as a whole is 685,000. So there's a big gap between living in Sunnyvale versus the median California price as a whole. And if we compare it to the rest of the country, the nation as a whole, is 291,000. So there is a huge gap between living in Sunnyvale, California versus the median price of housing in the nation. Now, this is gonna be the single biggest factor in your cost of living when it comes to moving to Sunnyvale. And it's pretty much six to seven times more expensive in terms of housing, Sunnyvale versus the rest of the country. But let's take a look at what your monthly costs look like in a mortgage. So if we take the median home price of Sunnyvale, California of 1.9 million and put it into this mortgage calculator with 20% down and a 5% interest rate, just as an estimate, our monthly principal and interest payment only comes to just above $8,100 a month. $8,100 a month on principal and interest only payments. Now, this is not including your property taxes and home insurance. Property taxes in Santa Clara County are 1.25% of the purchase price, so one and a quarter percent of purchase price, and typically home insurance in this area runs you about $1,200 for the year. So now let's take a look at what it would cost to rent a studio, apartment, house in Sunnyvale, California. So I'll put up this graph here that will give us a good idea of the averages of what it costs to rent in Sunnyvale versus other places. So if you're thinking about renting a studio, it looks like the average is just over $2,200 a month. If you're thinking of renting a one bedroom condo or apartment, it looks like the average is just above $2,500 a month. A two bedroom is gonna run you just over $3,000 a month. A three bedroom on average will run you about $3,800 a month and the four bedroom on average will run you about $4,400 a month. So as you can see, housing, whether it's buying or renting, is gonna be the single biggest factor when it comes to looking at the overall cost of living in Sunnyvale, California. But now let's take a look at your recurring utility bills. When it comes to your utility expenses as a whole in Sunnyvale, California, according to bestplaces.net, it is only 8% higher than the national average. So it's not outraging like our housing expenses, it's just a little bit above average. And when it comes to our utilities, uh, the ones I want to analyze is gonna be our electricity bill, water bill, 
internet bill and phone bill. This is what I determined to be recurring every month and the ones you will want to take a look at. So let's start with your electricity bill. Your energy bill in Sunnyvale, California on average is going to run you about $184 a month. Your water bill, which includes water, sewer and garbage is going to average about $300 a month. Your phone bill, which is pretty much your cell phone plans for yourself, spouse and family is going to run you an average of $200 per month. And lastly, your internet, which depends what provider you go with and how much internet speed you have. But on average, typically it's going to be 50 to $75 for 500 Mbps. So as you can see, these utility expenses are high, but they're not super crazy like the outrageous housing we have. Now let's take a look at transportation and analyze some of the expenses you will incur in that sector. All right, so for transportation, you have a few options. You can either ride a bike, which is free. We have a ton of bike lanes and bike paths uh, throughout Sunnyvale, Mountain View and the surrounding cities. You can literally take your bike to Google campus, to Apple campus at no expense to you. These big tech companies also provide shuttles where they pick up multiple employees at multiple locations. So that could be another source of free transportation. But if you're going to take public transportation, then you have several options. You have BTA, which is a light rail system and our bus system here in Sunnyvale. I'll put the website here below to check fares, but typically a monthly pass runs about $90. When it comes to going further places like to San Francisco, you will have to take the Caltrain. I'll put the fares here below for the website, but that typically runs you about anywhere between $76 to $346 a month for the monthly pass. And that's dependent on how many zones you travel to. So it's anywhere from one to five zones. And lastly, if you have a car here in Sunnyvale, California, as you probably know, California right now has outrageous gas prices. So right now on average, gas prices are about $5.38 per gallon. But if you're like many of the tech workers here, you'll probably get a electric vehicle or a Tesla that you can charge for much cheaper rates. And that's pretty much it for the expenses that I believe are recurring to you every month if you move to Sunnyvale, California, whether it's housing, renting, utilities, and transportation. Now, we can take a look at the other expenses like I mentioned. We can take a look at groceries, but I think that's vastly dependent on the size of your family and how much you consume groceries or whether you like to buy and cook at home or you like to dine out every night and every day like myself. So uh, I think those are some estimates dependent on the size of your family. And also, uh, I wanted to go over healthcare. According to bestplaces.net, on average, the healthcare in Sunnyvale, California is the same cost as the national average. So it's pretty much the same across the board. There's no huge change there. I hope all of that information was helpful. And I have a question for you. Do you have any other expense that you're curious about? I myself, I'm a Sunnyvale resident and I have plenty of monthly expenses and bills that I can share with you to give you a better idea. So if you're curious about any other expenses, just let me know and I'll be happy to answer you in the comment section. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great understanding of the potential living costs in Sunnyvale, California. And if you're thinking about relocating to Sunnyvale or you currently live in Sunnyvale or its surrounding areas and you need any real estate needs, I'm happy to help. Feel free to reach out to me at my social media at the Cesar Yanis here below and I'll be happy to help. And thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Peace. Give me, give me every time.